The variety of exotic conditions and ships to choose from in Star Citizen makes it easily one of the best and most immersive space sim experiences you're going to find out there on the market today. But what if I told you that there was something that could immerse you a bit more deeply and even potentially give you an advantage? Of course, I'm talking about sim gear. Joysticks, button panels, head trackers, they all bring you closer to seeing what it might be like to live in this future and sit in the seat of one of these impressive, powerful vessels. And now there's something that can tie all of those things together in a neat package, and that's a new chair from Monster Tech. It's the improved 2.0 version of one that I reviewed around three years ago, originally designed with the US Air Force. And it's now in Star Citizen livery. This is a specially designed chair with the ergonomics of flight in mind as opposed to just an office space, boasting a variety of details that you're just not going to find on any gaming or office chair period. But despite this chair having been given to me by the company technically making this a sponsored video, I'm not afraid to admit that this might not be for everyone. And so hopefully through this video, you'll be able to decide whether or not it's for you. If by the end you think I did a good job in helping you make that decision, please let me know by hitting that like and subscribe button to show your support. It means a ton to me. Now, first instinct that a lot of people ask when looking for a new office chair is how comfortable is it going to be? Comfort ergonomics are really important for sitting long term, and so this chair has all the features that you would expect from an ergonomic office chair that would support you in sitting for long periods of time, and I can attest to this having had the Gen 1 version for three years. All of which has been improved on this new version as far as I can tell. It's stiffer and feels like it's addressed some of the concerns I had with the original version, such as the armchair retention clips being being a little bit better at holding weight. But the thing is that if you're looking for an office chair only, then this might not be the chair for you. And that's because part of the cost of this chair has to do with some of its unique details that are specific to flight simming, and it's rather unorthodox design, which actually is about the ergonomics of flight. If you take a look at flight seats on, say, a 747, or an F-16, or an F-15, F-22, F-35, they all share something in common. They're narrow-backed and form-fitting to give pilots a greater range of motion in their arms and elbows in order to be able to better access, say, sticks, throttles, and button panels immediately surrounding the pilot in a confined space. This is also the reason for the opening between the legs. No, it's not for what you were thinking. It's for a center-mounted stick, like on an F-15. And why it's the shape is because the chair also comes with pre-threaded holes for attaching a center and side mount kit for attaching joysticks, button panels, mice, and keyboards to your chair if you so wish, to make your own sort of tiny and compact sim pit all attached to your own chair. Chair, which is precisely what I've done with my own set of VKBs. These are VKB Gladiators, by the way, not sponsored. If you're interested, I'll put a link down in the description below. Why you'd want to directly attach them to your chair offers some pretty cool benefits other than just saving desk space. At least for me, I found that it's helped me build better muscle memory since the sticks are always in the same position relative to my body. Whereas before, if my chair would shift around while I was playing, well, I'd be either further or closer from where my sticks were attached to my desk. It's also worth saying that it just feels really cool, if that counts. And that brings me to two other details which are super helpful that they've designed with this chair with flight simming in mind, and that's locking casters and a locking swivel mount on the bottom so the chair won't rotate or move when you're using it, which is especially helpful if you're using pedals. And thanks to the swivel design of the mounts, you can unscrew one side of it, swivel it aside, and then lock it in place to use the chair as a regular office chair. So I just keep these things attached to my chair when I'm, say, just making a video or playing a different game that doesn't need these sticks. They can also pretty quickly just be completely removed. But if this chair can do all of this and it can't hold up over time, that would be a big issue. Fortunately, I've had the Gen 1 version, like I said, for three years, so I can attest to the build quality of this chair. It's an improved version using basically the same materials, which looking at my old version, looked just as good as the day I got it when it was new. And this has been my daily chair for my computer since I got it. That is until I got this new one, which I gotta say I'm switching to now because I love the Star Citizen livery. I'm a huge Star Citizen fan. You guys know this if you follow my channel. So that is a big plus to this. Now, whether or not you like this design is kind of up to you. They've got a lot of different designs available on the website, including two other Star Citizen themed ones, one for Anvil and one for RSI, each in different colors, some more subtle than others. So if you're looking for something a little bit less 
you know, loud, then you can go for maybe the RSI chair, but they also offer some other really cool looking fabrics, including one that looks exactly like a flight seat using lamb fur. You can find it's uh, a bit more expensive though for that one. And personally, I don't think it would fit well for Taiwan. It's very hot here, so I, I'm glad I don't have that one. But whatever you choose, the build quality of these new ones looks great. The stitching looks fantastic. The embroidery is great. I really like the Velcro strip on the back with the Mirai logo on this one, because it can be removed and replaced with, say, your own patch with your own name. I think I'm gonna actually do that on this chair. I particularly like the subtle stitching on the rear that's in the same shape as the Mariah logo. And by the way, if you don't know what Mariah is, it's a racing brand in Star Citizen. They make the Razor and the Fury, which are both racing ships. Now, before we get to the price, there's one other thing I wanted to mention quickly, and that's how I set mine up. If you do plan on getting this, you might be curious how to set this up with a cable attached to your chair. And that's something that I had to go through figuring out. So I want to share that knowledge I gained through trial and error with you. What I've done here is I've run the cables along my chair using these 3M cable retention things you can pick up at a hardware store. I also have a USB hub attached to the left side of my chair. You can attach it wherever you want, but I've attached it to the left here uh, to the swivel mount. And that way, when the cord pulls out by accident or on purpose, it doesn't rip off the chair and damage the cord. So this is super helpful for me. And having a USB hub also makes sure that there's not like a ton of cables coming off my chair. But how much is this going to set you back? Well, if you check the website, the price is going to run you around $1,000 for the model that you guys have been seeing in this video. If you throw in the mounts for the VKBs, not including the sticks themselves, it'll run you just over 1200 bucks. And that sounds like a lot, but if you've been shopping for office chairs at any point in the recent past, then you'll know that office chairs can run anywhere from 200 to 2000 US dollars, depending on the quality and features you want to buy in an office chair. So that puts this one somewhere in the middle, but with some pretty unique features for people who are looking for a chair for doing flight simming, which is why this chair is personally appealing to me. One other thing to keep in mind too is that if you're looking to buy a regular office chair and modify it, typically you're gonna void your warranty if you do so, and a lot of chairs like say Herman Miller's have very bespoke mounting systems underneath for all of their kit that won't allow you to say mount a stick, there won't even be a location to do so. But in the end, it really comes down to whether or not you find any value in the details that this chair offers that others don't. If you're looking to do flight simming, this is one of the best, if not the only choice on the market that's ready to go with a bunch of equipment made for it. But it's not going to be in everyone's budget. So if you're still on the fence and you've got some questions for me, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer any that I've missed covering in this video. And if you have decided to pick one up, you can use my code morphologist to get 5% off when you check out, which is pretty great. And it also supports the channel. So I hope that helped you guys decide. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Hope to see you in the next one.